That's it folks, trek session done. Uh, good session again tonight after me uh, 19 miles on Saturday. Uh, so that was tonight it was uh, 800, 200 recovery, uh, 600, 200 recovery and 400, 200 recovery with an extra 200 in between sets. Uh, felt really strong tonight. Uh, pushed it a little bit on a couple of the reps. My stomach like, felt a little bit um, sicky, but that was just the pace where I'm not used to it. But it's great to be able to put in a good effort tonight. Morning, folks it's uh wednesday morning lovely uh bright but chilly morning hardly any wind at the minute which is good makes a change for what we've been going through for the last few weeks back here in the uk um yeah so just uh, a little recap on last night's track went really really well i felt again my splits are not fantastically quick but my so my eights and my um, sixes were about just a tad quicker than six minute mile in. My 400s over were quite quick. So I did manage to have a bit of a change of uh, pace for the 400. So we've done that three times. But it felt relatively quite easy to be fair. My legs uh, felt fine. Uh, even though I had an extra lap around the track and then, like I was saying before, the importance of a warm down after. So yeah, it's all going pretty well. So that's good, they've cleared the tree from Saturday. That's pretty good work by Greenwich Council. I suppose give them credit when it's due. It's quite a popular walkway this as well, so as you can see there's quite a bit of damage done. Signs down. Still blocking part of the path, so still got a bit of work to do, but at least some of it's clear. So um just stops me watch for a minute. Uh, just, yeah, so this is me recovery run, so the importance of a recovery run, basically. That's what it's all about. So it's keeping the heart rate down as low as possible. Now I'm lucky enough I've got a heart rate monitor strap and uh, um, it tells me on my watch what my heart rate is. So anything around about 125, 130 is probably acceptable uh, for me. In, anyway, every person is obviously different from the other. I mean, I'd done my long run a couple of weeks ago on a Sunday or Saturday, whatever it was, and my heart rate was really low throughout the whole run. But yeah, so give the heart rate a chance to keep keep low as possible. And then um, everything should be okay. It should be just like purely about getting the blood flow back in the legs, getting the recovery going, going again and getting rid of all that lacto acid from the track session last night. So anyway, I'm gonna carry on now, uh, get back as I've got to get to work.
plus the bus driver stopped me. He did what he did, uh, so sorry, so I let him off. Um, the hazards of being a runner, you have to be on your guard, really, when you're street running. I mean, I'm just running into the park now, so, but especially rush hour, you really have to be careful. recovery run now <coughs> felt pretty good this morning just a little bit of a uh, stiffness in the groin area which we expected after after last night's track and basically it's just after all the training I've been doing for the last eight weeks morning folks it's uh, a very wet Thursday morning uh, just about to do me 10 miler hopefully the weather conditions are absolutely awful this morning uh, just gonna meet up with someone make a change uh, so I've just parked up near near Blackheath I'm gonna run down to to Greenwich and meet up with a pal hopefully so I'll give you a little update on how it all goes during the video So, just come up to 10 miles, run all the way along the uh, Thames to Thames Bay, like I said. Weather's horrendous still. It did stop a little bit during the run, so quite well timed really. But it's chucking down now. I'm out of breath because I've just come up Mays Hill. Well, that's a big hill. Right, going back to the car now, 